Welcome to tutorial number 150 in the SolidWorks course number 5 in the sheet metal series. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the next option on the edge flange menu, which is the flange link. We are going to talk about the types of how you can make the length, blind up to vertex up to edge and merge. Also, we're going to talk about the place of edge length, outer, inner, tangent, length. In the previous tutorial, we talked about the other option, the first option, flange parameters, angle. We talked about them in details. In this tutorial, we're going again to talk in details about the flange length. I started a new part file and I will make a box from a piece of stainless steel sheet. As we learned in the previous tutorial, and it will be a repetition to the previous. I will choose the front plane and make the box. Go to the sheet metal. Now I have the initial shape of the box going to use the edge flange select edge flange select the edge where you're going to create your edge flange as we learned and select the other edge in the previous tutorial we were stretching the edges manually by the arrow here now you are able to add exact dimension to your edge. For example, let's add 50. When you are done, click OK for, for now. As you remember, when we created the initial shape on that sketch, let's show that sketch, you will notice that we added 50 millimeter. And when we created the edge flange, we also added, we picked the blind length and we added 50 millimeter. But you can notice here that the edges, they are not the same length. That is because of the bendings over here to get the exact length of your edge you will choose the next option. Go again to the edge flange, edit feature, go to the next option of to vertex. And you can zoom in and pick the vertex where you want your edge flange to end. And here you can not see so are able to pick that edge. When you are done, click OK. So you will have the exact length for your edge. If you look down to the box, you will notice this type of cut and bendings. Maybe you need to change the position of bending. That will we talk about in the next tutorial, which will be about the flange position and here if you notice on up to vertex you have the left reverse direction if you click on that you will reverse the direction of the flange and just 
going to do it like before. And now you can move again to blind. You will see the length is 51 millimeter. Now I am going to change it to 10 millimeter and pick the first option, Auto Virtual Chart, and click OK. Edge flange and over over the edge, you will notice the length is 8.26 millimeter. So it was not 10 millimeter. So the 10 millimeter is the length between. If you if we measure the length from this face, the bottom face, you will get the Y which is 10 millimeter. So when you pick the 10 millimeter, it is the distance between the top face and the bottom face. So this is the case of outer virtual chart. Let's edit again and pick the next option, the inner virtual chart. Click OK. And again, let's measure the you can get the measure tool from evaluate measure if you pick this face and this face for the distance of y you will get delta y 10 millimeter so this is the option of inner virtual chart so you are able now to know the difference between these two options and let's again Pick the next option, it will be similar to the first option. Do not be clear for this simple shape. And so with these options, you can get your exact length from the first time without guessing. Now I will make another edge flange. Select this edge and select edge. And if you hover and expand this menu, you will not still see the third option. Delete one edge. Delete that edge that you will see up to edge and merge. So let's select this option and select the preference edge. Go to that edge and you're not, you're not able to select that edge because this edge is higher than that edge. Click OK for now. For this paragraph, I'm going to create another sheet of metal. Pick this face, the sketch normal tool. Small dimension, make sure to be one millimeter under. Then up to surface. Okay. So again, return to the edge flange tool, edit feature, go up to the or this move this feature up. Edit feature, edit up edge and merge and select this edge. As you notice, 
it connected to that surface and merged with it. And when you are done, click OK. So this is a way to, to use the third option.